Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So on this video, I'm going to be testing whether flying your Mavic Mini on range tests is better in sport mode or P mode. Now the reason for that is purely because I've done so many range tests on this channel and a few people in the comment section have basically told me that I should be flying out in sport mode and I'll get there quicker. My general belief is that sport mode will kill the battery quicker. That's why I've always flown out in P mode. But I thought, Do you know what? I've got full batteries. Let's go test and see if that is actually the case. Right, so we've got three or four batteries. Um, as you can see, I have Yagi antennas for days there, um, brass, copper and aluminium. Um, I will be doing that range test, um, comparing these three shortly. But while the wind's dropped, I just want to see, as I've just said, whether flying out in sport mode or P mode um, does drain the battery quicker. Um, so let's crack on with that. So I'm going to get this up in the air. It's going to be a hand launch today. Right, there we go. Get some altitude straight away. So obviously this is flying out in P mode. I don't need a lot of altitude. Fifty meters will do. So it's just about how long our battery's lasting. So we took off with about what 95 to 94% battery. So this isn't about range guys. This is literally about uh, how far we can get. We don't even need to go to a max range, just simply maybe say two and a half thousand meters and then return back in P mode and then see what happens. Or what battery percentage we're on once we get to the same distance flying out in spot. I'd ideally like to uh, finish the range test before I get to that wind farm. Otherwise I'm going to need a little bit more height. So guys, it's not necessarily just about the range, it's about the difference between flying in P mode and spot mode. Bearing in mind, obviously I have taken off around 95% battery. So this is more about a set distance, as you can imagine. You're doing quite well for battery today, actually. Usually say about 10% per thousand meters, I would imagine. Wind's only about six miles per hour at the moment. little weak signal warning there but uh, RC signal is just full. Mm -hmm. 2100 meters. I was only going to go to about two and a half thousand meters but I feel like I'm going to need to go a little bit more because our battery is doing so well. But again, it's just more about the test than anything else. Getting a little bit of a weak signal there. It's getting some more height. I don't want to push it or lose signal. So let's get to that 2005. Unless we're going to get a disconnection here.
Right guys, not the greatest. There is no connection there, but uh, at least we know what we got to. So let's bring the drone back and then uh, start the test in sport mode. Right guys, so we're in uh, sport mode now, as you can see. Okay. Um, and we're just going to make sure we're on 2.4 gigahertz auto, which we are. So it's going to be another hand launch. So here we go. We're going to do our best to follow the same path as what we just did have. So a similar starting battery, close to where we started. Right, so we got to 2,400 and whatever meters, 2,500 meters. Yes, we lost connection, but that's not really relevant. It was about how much battery battery we lost. That's a new one, GPS signal weak. And I think we got there with about 75% battery. So we're going to be looking for the same sort of thing. Or less, if my theory is correct. Find out if I've been flying out in P mode wrong all this time, thinking it would give me longer battery when in fact it doesn't. Let's see. So we had a very similar starting battery, 1-2%, but I would imagine the difference will be a little bit greater, so it won't have a major effect. Let's get somewhere where our path was last time. Interesting test. Like I say, guys, this has come from you, again, in the comment section, telling me I should be flying out in sport mode. Me constantly thinking that that would uh, drain the battery further. I wanted to save my battery for... Uh, Range, let's see what happens. So we've got to about 70 odd percent. Same weak signal warnings that we've got before. Right, 79%. So basically we've used absolutely no more battery flying in sport mode than what we did in P mode. So it turns out you guys were probably right. Right, let's get back and see what we land on. Right guys, what do you think to that? So it turns out your lot was all right. And cut long story short, when you're doing range tests, I should have just flown in sport mode because I didn't lose any more battery um, by doing so. Uh, whether that makes a difference once you get to the lower voltages um, and the battery has to work harder, not entirely too sure. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that test and catch you on the next video.